Hey everyone, welcome back to another writing video. My name is Alyssa and this is my channel, She Was J Writes Books. Today I am going to be doing a weekly writing update. And I'm going to be doing these every week and just to kind of show you guys where I'm at in my current work in progress and what I'm planning to work on throughout the rest of the week as well as the next week. So this week I am mainly working on the second part of my or like the second story of my Dunes Matter Chronicles. It has a new name now and that new name is The Dark and Twisted Tales of Lake Ridge because there are a bunch of short stories slash novellas into one story. The first story is more like a novella and then it kind of leads into the next story and these either focus on the main set of characters from the Dinsmire Police Department or they focus on the murders themselves or the crime scene characters themselves. And right now I'm focusing on the crime scene characters and it's this small little family and they're kind of getting hunted down by the woman in white from the lake and it's kind of fun to write. Um, I will share with you guys like where like page count wise so I am 94 pages in because I copied and pasted my story isolated which is what I'm working on right now into the Dinsmire or the Lake Ridge I can say Lake Ridge now into the Lake Ridge document and let me bring up the tools it tools work out I have 34,000 880 words as of right now and I'm hoping to actually finish isolated today so that I can start the next story although I almost thought I could end it right where I'm at right now and then when I was talking to my mom about other names for around the lake because I only have now I have four names for around the lake I have because it's because it's set up like Lake Tahoe and right now I have Mountain Ridge, I have Dunsmire, I have Shady Creek and Cobble Creek. So those are the four that I have right now. If you guys have any suggestions for names for like little cities or towns that can go around this lake, let me know in the comments because that can be very helpful since I have characters um, that are going to be all over the place in this little area, which is why, and, and these really are dark and twisted tales, which is why I changed the name to that, and I, I, while outlining isolation, I came up with Mountain Ridge, and I decided to call the name Lake Ridge, and I did that not this Saturday, but a couple Saturdays ago, I don't re remember, <laughs> slow down, I don't remember exactly when I outlined isolation, but I also kind of forgot to add in that Anthony, the father, is a photographer and Jenna, the mother, is a journalist so I kind of forgot to add that part in and I think it's kind of working better that way because then it's not so long and I need things to happen quickly since a lot of the other storylines are in the same timeline and this one is happening the same week that the other one ends or that the first story ends, and I finished the first story yesterday, actually. Um, or yesterday or the day before. I don't know, I know I've been working on isolation for the past couple of days, and I love this story, and it's actually the first kind of paranormal story that I'm going to be finishing, even though it's a, um, short story, but I still love it so much. Um... Anyways, I have that going and I'm also outlining the, my, my Alice in Wonderland retelling 
So that's very exciting. I got from the library. One sec. My dog Ripley's here as well. I got from the library through the looking glass and what Alice found there. This giant book that is as big literally almost as big as the screen here um but i'm really excited to go through this because it's not like some of the other versions that i've read i guess um and i really like the illustration of it so far that i've looked at so that will oh i did not realize that they have a well you can't see it on screen or you kind of can that's Alice right there. So I'm really excited to dive deeper into Alice's world because I kind of, even though I'm having Alice be the mother of the main character, well, one of the main characters, this story is going to be told from multiple points of view. I don't even know how many yet. And after like five chapters, I'm going to have the caterpillar intercept and or have like an interception and be like the or have like a poem or whatever but I'm kind of at that point in the in my outlining I did five scenes or chapters um, from each point of view like one scene from each point of view just to give me a clue of what goes on in those chapters and I have to kind of really think and be smart about the caterpillar I do have the white rabbit as a character, and Alice is a character, her daughter is a character, her daughter's two friends who are actually from Wonderland, um, Brandon and Eloise, Eloise, I think that's how you pronounce that name, um, and I also have the Queen of Hearts oldest, oldest son as the as one of the main characters, like the first main character. So, I think that's about five. I have the siblings, Brandon and Eloise, be in one chapter. So I just call their chapter the twins, and then I'm going to be putting their names under the twins, and then like whatever chapter number I'm on. So, there's that. I'm going to be doing some, some research there, and anything else I think that is it for it this week and this week I am hoping to finish isolation and then start the third short story which is going to be in Jason's X I already have that outline I will show you guys that because I have that outline and I also have another one of my stories outlined okay it's somewhere in here because I did that in school Cool. Or I guess I have part of it outlined. I feel like my little illustration of my character. <laughs> Putting his sticky note there. Um, I'll probably go through each short story as and have like a series. Um, an all about my novel series based on Link Ridge. Because these are all like, to me they're all unique stories. And I'm just excited to write them, so I don't know how long that one's going to be, but I also have another one that, oh, I just closed it when I went to grab the other one. So this one was actually inspired by a photo that I saw on Instagram from Lily, no, oh, what's her name? She played Clary Gray in the movie version of the mortal instruments and just to give you an idea an idea um because she had this kind of cool crown on in one of her photos i think for an event with a black dress as well as like a red gem that looked like a teardrop on there and then that gave me the idea i screenshotted that because it gave me the idea for the story i still don't have a name for it but it's kind of very creepy so that is my little drawing that i have for this one and then that is the outline of it so this is going to be alternating from a blog post to 
that is from her point of view to the um, DPD. So it's kind of flip flopping over and this is going to more center on my character Edmund who is the tech dude in the series and yeah that that's actually I should put these in a different folder or just have them on my desk so that I know where they are um I have in here I know I realized I have in here my paranormal historical fantasy novel that I still need to look over um yeah this one this one will probably be more of a next year um problem or project anyways this video went a lot better than my original plan for today which was the all about my novel video for Lake Ridge I'm glad to well what was that? That was weird. Um, something like flew across the screen. I don't know. Anyways, I am really excited to like get near to the end of isolation here and probably tonight I'll be able to finish it or tomorrow. Um, and then I'll be able to start either ice Jason's X or I really want to write this one because it's been in my head since I've come up with it and it hasn't been able to go away so also for some reason it's just become a really important story so I'm not sure how it's gonna work sorry I just yawn I'm getting really terrible nights of sleep like I haven't been sleeping at all and when I do sleep it's terrible sleep because I'm having nightmares all night all throughout the time I'm sleeping so I'm kind of tired um anyways that is it for my writing update what are you guys working on currently I would love to know if you'd like to share um for more like kind of weekly videos I will be doing these types of videos every week, so this is going to be its own series. And then journaling videos on Thursdays and movie review mini videos on Monday. So I hope you guys have a lovely day and a lovely rest of your week. And I hope to see you tomorrow with my next video. Bye everyone.